I, I like their red colour. It's like a sort of dash of light, of flash of red. Yeah, no, they're just quite cute, aren't they, with their little ear tap? I think it's because they're quite elusive, the, the reds. There's that mystery about them. They're a bit like mice, but not really. The aim of the project is basically to reintroduce red squirrels to areas of former habitats. My name is Becky Priestley, I'm in charge of the Red Squirrel Project at Trees for Life. We're a rewilding charity dedicated to rewilding the Scottish Highlands. They used to be present right throughout the United Kingdom. Today there are just a number of small isolated populations in England and Wales. And Scotland is the last remaining stronghold. It's got about three quarters of the UK population. However, they're still missing, or prior to the start of the project, they were completely missing from the northwest. So our aim is to reintroduce red squirrels to that region, um, which will increase both the numbers and the range of red squirrels in the UK, which is really important. But critically, because there's no grey squirrels in the northwest, we're going to be creating populations that are free from the threat of grey squirrels. Good morning, I'm Tom from Trees for Life. It's a dark November morning and um, we're up early to uh, trap some squirrels, take them up to the north of Scotland to start a new population. So we've had these feeders out for a few weeks now and the ones that were getting the most activity, we've put traps at those locations. And um, this morning, we're setting the traps. So the only food now is in the trap and we'll come back here in a few hours time. Two hours maximum. We don't want to leave them in there longer than that just to see what's, see what's here. I'm just going to set it now. just got back to the first trap I set this morning and uh, we've got a squirrel, that's, that's brilliant. Just gonna cover him up straight away to minimize the stress. My name is Alex, I'm one of the vets. I work at Stress Bay in the Cairngorms and we've come up for the day to help Trees for Life. Today we are at health checking some of the squirrels that the volunteers have trapped. Um, so they've brought them all here so that we can give them a health check and weigh them. That all looks good. Okay, that's potentially fair. Very close. 3.80. What did you say? 3.80. We take a sample for DNA testing. Um, and if everything is looking well, then they can get relocated. One of the really pleasing things about this project has been that it's not just about the squirrels themselves, it's very much a people project as well. Local people around the release sites are super excited to have squirrels back. Um, landowners are always very keen to have them released on their land. When we go along and release the squirrels, um, we always give local people a chance to come along and help to release them. Yeah. Got it? Yep. That's good, nice. Grab a handful of moss or something. So we just put the moss in the hole, but not like completely compacted. Just enough so that there'll be a bit of light coming out. So in the morning they know where to head. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we came here this morning and um, this squirrel hadn't left, uh, the moss was still in the hole. Um, so we've um, taken it out, given it a chance to, uh, to leave and, and also just checked how he was doing with the camera inside the box. I don't have a problem with them lying in, it's just that we want to make sure they're okay. I'm just going to take the lid off and, uh, and then we'll stand back for a bit and give it a chance. 
to leave. Just I imagine that giving it the view up the tree might encourage it to um, to go somewhere. There we go. So once the squirrels have been released, it's obviously very important to monitor the populations to ensure that what we're doing is working. So we can carry out annual monitoring for five years after release. We're finding that it has been very successful and we hope that long term um, some of the populations will start to join up, especially as more forest regenerates. And so long term, once again, we'll have red squirrels flourishing in the northwest highlands of Scotland. What do you like about red squirrels? Well, what's not to like about red squirrels? Everything. It was such a magical moment when you saw a red squirrel and you had to stop and just enjoy that moment. And I'm hoping there will be many of those moments in these woods.